Well, welcome back to Life Trinity Production Studios. And in this lesson, we are going to talk about the integration with Wavelink and the Stream Deck Plus, as well as a little bit of a dive into the Stream Deck XL. So, what is Wavelink software? It is a new software by Elgato. It's been out for a while that lets you control the volumes and different features on your Wave microphones and other tools by Elgato. But once the Stream Deck Plus came out, they also made it integrate with the Stream Deck. So it unlocks the Wave Link software. So we're gonna take a look at that right now. This page right here, I have the Wave Link page open. And so this is on Elgato. I'll put a link here below. Um, but right here, you can see I've chosen the Stream Deck in the left column and then Windows on the right. You could also choose Macintosh right here. So if you have a Mac, you have those two choices as well. But I have a Windows-based computer. So you're going to want to already have the Stream Deck software downloaded, of course. But the Wavelink software is right here. Click on Download. And then that's going to ask you to sign up here. And you can click down here to go ahead and continue with download without registering. And then it's going to download here in the bottom of your computer. Um, open that file and install it. And we will then dive into the Wavelink software. So now that that's installed, uh, we're going to close this and come back in here. And now what I want to do is I want to install this pack. But first of all, I'm going to go down here to my start menu on my computer. I'm going to go Elgato Wavelink, and we're going to open up the Elgato Wavelink software. And that software is open now. You can see volume actions, um, the different buttons. And I'm not really using Wavelink. I use my Rodecaster Pro for integrating all my audio, but this is great for streaming from your computer. I stream from an ATEM, so, but this is a great tool for you, especially if you're using OBS or some of the other great software available for Mac or PC to stream directly. Um, so we're going to take a look at this. So I have the software open. I'm just going to minimize that. Um, so it's in the background. And then I want to install this pack. Now, how do you find it? If I go back to the discovery page and then the plugin page, I'm just going to go up here to the search engine and type in WAV and it pops open the wave plugin. And now I'm going to click install. And you can see before I install it over here on dials, um, I don't have a wave plugin over here. I did in the last video, but I've uninstalled it because I want you guys to see what the options are when you install it. So it is not here. You're going to watch it appear right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit install. Yes. And now it's going to ask me a very important question. Do I want to install the profiles? And I'm going to click install profiles. Now what that does, it creates a new page. If you go up here, you can see I have a Wavelink page and a default page. That's the page you've been seeing here on my stream. But if I go back to the Wavelink page, you can see now that it's automatically put in some selection here on my microphones. And I have the ability, not any ability to swipe. Only four of those shows up, but they're all, if you look at them, they are all stacks. So I can click on this now and I can go between these different choices. So I have headphones mix, the live mix, as well as um, headphones. So two things are stacked there. And if you want to see those dials, we'll go over here and double click in that category. Let's zoom in there so you can see that up close. Um, and then there's the stacks, wave input, um, wave link input actions. So those are on that particular dial. And to see that again, here is that dial. Let's go back up. So um, on the top, you see what's on those dials. And down here on the Stream Deck itself, you can see that each one of these microphones has the ability to go between stream and the last one is my master output for everything. So if you look over on the Excel, now you have the ability to go up and down with the volumes. And then you have the ability to change what input, either the master input or the headphone input 
is all right there. So each one of these has the ability to be muted, um, changing the stacks and then muting by tapping on the screen if I want to mute my main mix or my headphone mix. And you can watch the Wave videos to learn more about that. I just want you to see that there's integration available inside the Stream Deck with the Wave plugin. So I have home here and I also have home here and that takes me back to my regular page. So if I don't want that profile and I wanna go directly home, it automatically made a button for me to go home. Same thing up here, I'm back on my home screen and I'm back on my home screen there. So if I go from being live and then I wanna get right back into my regular profiles, I can just use the home screen. So not only does it install all those profiles on your Excel or your Stream Deck Plus, it also, gives you a home button. Now I would have to create a home button to get back to that profile, but that's, and that does take up a button. So keep that in mind. So if I wanna go back to that without a home button, I go back up here in the software and I click on profiles and I go back to my Wavelink SD profile. Now, if I click up here to my Excel, I also have the ability under my Excel to go down here and now you see I have a Wavelink monitoring page, right? And I also have a Wavelink XL stream page because again, there's no stacks available in the XL. So they create two pages and we'll go back to um, that profile and go back to that screen here. And I will show you that that is available to change right there, changing those pages. And you can see those pages changing in the screen on the top as I push this button. So it's, it's great that you can download this pack for the Wave Link plugin after you download it on your computer, then you're able to control it from your Stream Deck and you're able to control it from your Stream Deck XL. Now this isn't a deep dive into using the Wave Link software. There's plenty of videos out there for you. I just wanted you to be able to see that you can bring that in um, to your, your software and um, be able to use it with your Stream Deck Plus. Now, what I do want to do is I wanna go over here and go to a new page. So we're gonna go back home. I'm gonna scroll over here to a new page. Actually, this is create a new page here uh, in my Stream Deck Plus. So we'll hit a new page here. Now I have the same background, a new page. What I wanna do now is I wanna go down here to the wave um, choice here. Now that I've installed, I have input actions, output actions, hardware actions, and effects actions. So let's just say I wanna do an input action. I can draw that on a button, an output action, I could draw that on a button. Then I could go down here and I can decide, do I want to set it? Do I want to adjust it? Do I want to mute it? So that's those choices are right here. So I could go set and then it gives me set options. So you can see all the options here. My output mix. Do I want to do any fading? Um, do I want a, um, the volume? If I go back um, up here and go adjust, I have all these adjustment options and mute. I have basic mute options and that's available on that icon. If I go to the lower icon, I have set, adjust and mute as well. And then I can actually bring up here a hardware action. And then you can see the choices. I can set an output device. I can toggle output device. I can hardware do hardware settings. And so each one of these has functions um, that are available to you. And then you also have this effects icon as well. You can toggle effect. Um, then it gives you an option to choose effects. So I can choose my different microphones, which one I want to affect. And all that's available as well. And that's as far as we're going to dive into that. But I also wanted you to see, let's go delete these. Delete. You have dial options as well. So let's just focus now on the dials. And I'm going to look here and I have input and output actions. So I'm going to drop that on there and I have one input action available to me. I can decide what input that's going to be. 
So let's say it's my main Rodecaster microphone. Then I can go down here and I can decide if I want to output, um, control the mix output or the stream mix or all. And so let's just say I left that, but that's all I can add to that is that one adjustment. And I can make that adjustment, but I can also do stacks. So I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to go to move to dial stacks. So I clicked right on the button icon and I'm going to click on move to dial stacks. And now I have dial stacks. So I have wavelength input action and now I can add wavelength output action. I can go up here to wavelength input action and make it that microphone and my monitor mix. And I can go to output action and I can make that my stream mix. And now I have the ability to change between the master output and the microphone output right here with a click of the button. So you have the ability with stacks just to add more features, give you more intuitive control of your wavelength and you can custom this any way you please. So I can add more features to that dial stack. You can see the dial stack right here. So I just added a color control um, to one of my lights. So I'm gonna go to that now um, on the screen here and I'm gonna choose my key light on my desk. So now I have the control to do that. So you can see down here, I have a, now a microphone output, master output and my Elgato light on that stack. So I can have stacks with controls for my Wavelink software. I can have stack items for controlling my regular speaker output in my studio. And I can also add light effects. And I, you can see I can stack quite a few features right here on the dials. And I can switch between those, sweats, those, those um, stacks by pushing a button. And if I need to turn that light off, now I can tap it. If I am on the mic and I want to mute it, I can tap it. And if I am on the master output, I can mute it or unmute it right there by tapping it. So lots of things that you can do right here on the screen. I can then swipe back to my main profile, turn that hair light off again, and gives me a better view of the screen right here on the stream deck. So. That's kind of a look at how you can integrate the Stream Deck Plus now with Wavelink, including a little look at the XL screen there. Really lots of great features now in the Stream Deck Plus. You have now Wave um, Link Control, that software, which is very powerful. So take a look at that software if you haven't used it yet. I'll put the link to that download page on Elgato's site in the description below. That's a look at the Wavelink integration with the Stream Deck Plus, as well as a quick look at the Stream Deck XL. I hope you'll t try those dials and try those buttons and see how you can take control of your live streams or your recording in your studio or your gaming, however you are using your Wavelink software. And yeah, you can use a regular microphone with the new Wavelink software. So if you have a different USB mic other than the Wave microphones available from Elgato, you can now use it and control it with Wavelink as well as your Stream Deck XL and your Stream Deck Plus. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our page and hit the like button. Um, we would appreciate that if these videos are helping you. Also, I wanna invite you to join me every week at on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time, adjust for daylight savings time. We hope you'll join us there. We talk about live streaming tech and as well as features like this on the Stream Deck Plus. In our next video, we will take a look at a pack that you can download with everything already set up and ready for you, both on the Stream Deck XL and the new Stream Deck Plus. That'll be in our next video, so I hope you'll join me for that. And you can take a look at some pre-made presets that you can use in your Stream Deck. Um, we have other videos coming in this series, so stay tuned for that. There's lots more features in the Stream Deck that we want to cover. Um, the other series are in the links below if you'd like to check those out, as well as the uh, live unboxing from my live stream a number of weeks back. I'm Keith, this is Live Journey Production Studios, and I'll see you in the next video.